Welcome to my next project. I'm in Horsham. This is our neighborhood. Cute little house here. Nice neighborhood of ranchers on both sides. Got a long driveway here. You got multiple cars you can park, a lot of curb appeal. We got a brick facade on the front of the house. Got a yard over here, I'll take you through that. Some nice trees. Why don't we start by walking over here to the side yard. We're in Horsham, there's the giant. This is Dresher Road here. There's side yard over here. There's a wheel tank. This is like a Bilco door. He's got, I think he made it out of wood and he's got it covered with a tarp. There's a shed here. This is backyard. Fence. Swimming pool. We got two fireplaces in this house. You can see the chimneys there. There's one on the right and then one at the top of the house. I'm not sure, but I think these windows are Anderson windows. At least uh, the cranks look just like the uh, Anderson cranks I have in my house. So I'm going to go, and this is the front door right here. Back up so you can see this. Nice front patio. I'm going to enter through the garage. So we got lots of stuff here, of course. Electric meters right there inside the garage. Attic up there, you can check out. It's a typical attic. This is like a finished room at one time. We got a fireplace in the back with a stone wall. Real fireplace, windows to the outside, it's all paneling on the ceiling and uh, on the walls and ceramic tile on the floor. While we're here, I'll take you out this patio section. So we got like a sitting area out here all fenced in. Could be a really cool little private area. It's kind of got a... Uh, like elevations to it so you go one two three four steps now you're up on a higher portion of the property so you can see the roof here that's the fireplace we just looked at got like a obviously need some landscaping here private section over here and then the fenced in yard Back vents is uh, pretty freaking wasted. And this is the back of the house. There's your one fireplace, there's your other. Pretty accessible roof. Much quieter over here. Okay, now we're back in this room, and uh, we enter into the kitchen, so you got like a string of uh, cabinets here, uh, window, I don't know, they got trash bags over these windows, but these go to the outside of the house, they look like they're in pretty good shape, the windows that is, the kitchen obviously is toast. Soft it up there. 
Uh, over here is your stove, another set of cabinets. Here's the laundry room. I can't get that light to work. I don't know what's up with it. There's a sink. Washer dryer. Water heater. Was put in in 05. So she's probably ready for a replacement. And uh, this is 2013 on the heater. 2013. So we should be okay on the heater. You saw the oil tank outside. I don't know what's up with that fridge and I ain't gonna open it. So here we got our living room. This is a really cool room. It's a whole wall of uh, those Anderson windows here. And a very cool looking fireplace. A lot of character here. There's some pockets over here with like electrical lights in the sockets. So, you know, I imagine you put a light bulb in there or some kind of cool thing and it lights up the whole cavity. Here's your front door. And uh, behind the front door, we got just a coat closet. Some stuff in it. So there's your coat closet. Here's your front door. Looking out across the street. These are the windows. See if I give you a good look at them. I'm pretty sure these cranks are Anderson style, so they're Anderson casement windows. And you can get parts for these things if we need them. They come out and service them too. So I do that in my house. So here's our dining room over here. And then we'll start going down the hallway into the bedrooms and the bathroom. So here is the bathroom. The little closet here in the bathroom. Um, there's a problem with some of the um, beams that are supporting this first floor. This is a rancher and I'm uh, sitting about four or five feet above the bottom of the crawl space. Uh, I had a structural uh, engineer over here, climbed all around the crawl space yesterday. He said about half of the beams on the, flu on the uh, floor that I'm walking on need to be replaced. Don't know why there's a vanity here in the middle of the closet. I guess they were going to replace it at some point. It's just sitting there. Here's an example of one of the beams that's in bad shape. You can see uh, that this uh, the guy who was down in the crawl space said approximately half the beams need to be replaced. So whoever's going to buy this house, you're going to rip out all the floors on, the, on this main floor here. And there's only one floor. You have to rip out all of these... Flooring, replace approximately half the beams, plywood it, and then you can start rocking and rolling on the rest of the place. So here's one of the bedrooms. You can see here that the, like the radiator is uh, separated from the wall. You can see the windows here, they look like they're in pretty good shape. This is one bedroom one, bedroom two over here with a hole in the floor, bedroom three is over here, I guess this is the master. And that concludes a tour of my latest project. Contact me for more details.